This is what the ocean floor looks like at its deepest point. That is the deepest known point on the planet. It's located in the Marianas Trench. A plastic bag has been found in the deepest part of the ocean, and it was found during a record-breaking dive. Imagine a world so deep and hostile, it could crush a submarine like a tin can. This is the Mariana Trench, Earth's darkest, deepest frontier, where a crack in the ocean floor plunges over 11 kilometers into eternal darkness. Yet, this extreme abyss is also tainted. Plastic waste has reached its most hidden depths, proving no place is safe from human impact. Tune into this unfathomable abyss, where each discovery reveals wonders and warnings that will leave you breathless. Earth's darkest, deepest frontier. The Mariana Trench lies in the Western Pacific, shaped like a crooked scar on the seafloor. It's a whopping two and a half thousand kilometers long and about 70 kilometers wide, stretching across an area so remote, it's practically untouched by human hands. The trench is the result of subduction, a process where the Pacific plate is shoved under the smaller Mariana plate. This tectonic drama not only carved out the trench, but it also built the neighboring Mariana Islands, a chain of volcanic wonders rising from the deep. But within this shadowy abyss lies a secret that could rewrite life as we know it. The trench's lowest point, the Challenger Deep, sinks more than 11 kilometers below sea level. That's deeper than commercial planes fly above the earth. If you dropped a coin from the surface, it would take over an hour to hit the bottom. This region, known as the Hadal Zone, is like the underworld of the sea, named after Hades, the Greek god of the dead. It's a fitting name for a place of eternal darkness, crushing pressure, and freezing temperatures. For centuries, people thought the Mariana Trench was a lifeless void, an underwater wasteland too extreme for anything to survive. But they couldn't have been more wrong. In 1875, the HMS Challenger expedition decided to test the depths by lowering a weighted rope into the ocean. When the crew ran out of rope, they realized they'd discovered the deepest spot on Earth. This sparked a wave of curiosity. Could anything actually live down there? Fast forward to 1960. Jacques Picard and Don Walsh became the first humans to dive into the Challenger Deep aboard the Trieste, a submarine that looked more like a metallic bath toy than an advanced vessel. As they descended into the abyss, the pressure outside grew to over 1,000 times the atmospheric pressure at sea level. The dive was so intense that the viewing window cracked. Still in the 20 minutes they spent at the bottom, they found something extraordinary. Life. Tiny pale creatures like shrimp and flatfish swam through the muddy waters, proving that even the most inhospitable environments can sustain life. Since the Trieste's historic dive, modern technology has taken us even deeper. In 2012, filmmaker James Cameron took a solo dive to the trench's depths in the Deep Sea Challenger. What he saw was both eerie and fascinating. Mats of bacteria living off the chemicals in the rocks, creating an entire ecosystem fueled by chemosynthesis rather than sunlight. These microscopic organisms are like the architects of life in the trench, providing energy for larger, weirder creatures. One of the trench's most famous residents is Hirondelia gigas, a giant amphipod that thrives under conditions that would harm most other creatures. These scavengers have a unique trick. They coat their exoskeletons in aluminum armor extracted from the seafloor mud. It's like nature's version of high-tech body armor. Another bizarre find is the Mariana snailfish, a creature that holds the record for the deepest living fish. It's a fragile looking thing that thrives at depths where most other vertebrates' bones would simply dissolve. The trench is also home to sea cucumbers like the sea pig, a squishy, tentacled oddball that sifts through the mud for food. And then there's the xenophiophore, a single-celled organism that can grow up to 20 centimeters wide. Imagine a cell the size of a dinner plate. These creatures are joined by bioluminescent fish and predatory sea squirts that cling to the trench walls, waiting for prey to drift by. Despite its remoteness, the Mariana Trench isn't safe from human influence. Plastic bags and microplastics have already been found at its deepest points. This is a sobering reminder that even the most isolated places on Earth aren't immune to pollution. If this trend continues, we risk losing the chance to discover new species and unlock secrets that could revolutionize science.
For instance, studying trench microbes could lead to breakthroughs in medicine and biotechnology, providing insights into how life can thrive in extreme conditions. The Mariana Trench remains one of Earth's last great frontiers. Every expedition brings new surprises, reshaping our understanding of life's resilience. From armored amphipods to glow-in-the-dark fish, this underwater abyss is a testament to nature's creativity. But with great discovery comes great responsibility. As we continue to explore the trench, we must also commit to protecting it. Who knows what secrets and solutions this mysterious world still holds? The Hadal Zone is not a monotonous stretch of mud and rock, as once believed. It's a landscape teeming with ridges, volcanic vents, and mineral-rich waters. These features support ecosystems that challenge our understanding of biology. Hydrothermal vents, for example, spew superheated, mineral-laden water that creates towering chimneys of solidified minerals. Around these vents, life clusters in unexpected abundance. Tiny crabs, worms, and other organisms thrive in this oasis of heat and nutrients amidst the icy waters of the trench. Even with modern technology, exploring the trench is a monumental challenge. Unmanned submersibles like Kaiko and others have reached its depths, capturing footage that provides glimpses into this mysterious world. These missions have uncovered species and behaviors that were previously unknown, revealing how little we truly understand about life on our planet. The trench reveals life thriving in ways never imagined, challenging our understanding of survival, unveiling life's secrets in the abyss. Every new discovery in the trench adds a piece to the puzzle of life's resilience and adaptability. The trench is more than just a geographical feature. It's a symbol of Earth's capacity to host life in forms and places we never imagined. Protecting it is not just about preserving biodiversity, but about respecting one of the planet's most incredible achievements, life finding a way to thrive against all odds. The study of the trench's unique ecosystems provides clues to some of humanity's most pressing questions. For instance, scientists have discovered extremophiles, organisms capable of surviving in environments once thought uninhabitable. These life forms possess remarkable genetic and biochemical adaptations, such as proteins that remain stable under intense pressure or enzymes that function in near freezing temperatures. Understanding these mechanisms could revolutionize fields like medicine, where similar adaptations might be used to design treatments for diseases or develop technologies for organ preservation in cryogenic conditions. The trench's geological dynamics also offer a window into understanding Earth's carbon cycle. Carbon from surface layers is often subducted deep into the Earth's mantle through tectonic activity. Some of this carbon is released back into the atmosphere via volcanic activity, while some remains locked away for millions of years. Studying this process could improve our knowledge of how carbon moves through Earth's systems, providing insights into managing climate change and carbon sequestration efforts. Additionally, exploring the Mariana Trench could hold the key to new energy sources. Minerals such as cobalt, nickel, and rare earth elements, essential components in modern technologies like batteries and electronics, are found in deposits near hydrothermal vents. While the extraction of these resources is fraught with ethical and environmental concerns, understanding their formation and distribution might lead to more sustainable methods of sourcing critical materials. The trench also offers a compelling avenue for astrobiology. Scientists hypothesize that life in the Mariana Trench, thriving in the absence of sunlight and extreme conditions, might parallel potential life forms on icy moons like Europa or Enceladus. These celestial bodies are believed to harbor subsurface oceans beneath their icy crusts. By studying trench organisms and their survival strategies, we may refine our search for extraterrestrial life, paving the way for future space exploration. Public fascination with the Mariana Trench continues to inspire innovation. Advances in submersible design, robotics, and remote sensing have been driven by the challenge of reaching and studying its depths. These technologies not only benefit oceanography, but also have applications in other extreme environments, such as deep space missions or polar expeditions. The quest to explore the trench pushes the boundaries of human ingenuity and technological development. As we unlock the secrets of this deep frontier, ethical considerations must guide our actions. The trench is a pristine environment shaped over millions of years. 
Introducing invasive species, pollutants, or disruptive technologies could irreparably harm its delicate ecosystems. Conservation policies must prioritize sustainable exploration, ensuring that the trench remains a haven for scientific discovery and biodiversity. The Mariana Trench's significance extends beyond its physical dimensions. It symbolizes humanity's insatiable curiosity and drive to explore the unknown. It challenges our understanding of life, the planet, and our role within its intricate web of systems. Protecting this awe-inspiring natural wonder is not just a scientific imperative, but a moral one. A commitment to preserving the mysterious depths of our world for future generations to marvel at and learn from. Back in 2014, a group of researchers went on a mission to uncover the trench's strangest secrets, its sounds. Armed with advanced hydrophones, basically underwater microphones, they recorded noises that were anything but ordinary. Among the usual underwater rumbles and the whispers of moving water, they caught something that left them scratching their heads. It wasn't just unusual, it was extraordinary. This bizarre noise, which seemed to come from some unknown living creature, was quickly nicknamed the Western Pacific Biotwang. The Biotwang wasn't just another fish burp or bubble pop. It started with a low moaning hum at 38 hertz and then shot up to a high-pitched metallic twang around 8,000 hertz. All in a span of two or three seconds, the sound's complexity blew away researchers. They couldn't pin it down using the usual methods, and theories started flying. Some thought it might come from geological shifts like tectonic plates grinding together, or methane bubbles rising from the seafloor. Others guessed it could be a call from an unknown ocean creature. The mystery was as deep as the trench itself. One clue pointed to whales. Baleen whales, the massive marine mammals famous for their eerie songs, make all sorts of complex noises. The biotwang reminded scientists of minke whale calls, especially the Star Wars sounds heard near Australia's Great Barrier Reef. That seemed promising, but there was a catch. Whale songs are usually seasonal, tied to breeding cycles. The biotwang, however, played year-round, making the connection shaky. If it was a whale, it was breaking the rules. Fast forward a few years and the search for answers got serious. By 2018, scientists were equipped with cutting edge acoustic and visual tools. They headed back to the Mariana Islands where the bio twang was first recorded. Alongside the strange sound, they spotted groups of bride's whales, a type of medium sized baleen whale that prefers warm tropical waters. Bride's whales are tricky to study since they're elusive and not as well documented as their larger relatives. The timing was too perfect to ignore. Researchers noticed a strong link between the biotwang and the presence of these whales. When the whales were around, the biotwang often followed. It seemed likely that bride's whales were behind the sound. But the big question remained, why would these whales make such a wild, out-of-the-box call? Was it a way to communicate across vast ocean distances? A secret mating song? Nobody could say for sure. The trench's silence holds clues, unveiling stories of life and forces shaping the deep. The biotwang and beyond. To dig deeper, scientists turned to artificial intelligence. Using machine learning, they sifted through over 200,000 hours of underwater recordings from hydrophones scattered across the Pacific. The AI didn't just confirm the connection between the biotwang and bride's whales. It also mapped out where the sound occurred and how often. Without AI, spotting these patterns in such a massive data set would have been nearly impossible. Technology turned out to be a game changer, but the bio twang isn't the only strange sound to emerge from the Mariana Trench. The place is like a giant natural orchestra with noises coming from both living creatures and the earth itself. Tectonic plates groan and creak, distant earthquakes send rumbles through the deep, and even surface waves can create faint echoes that travel miles below. All these sounds mix into a haunting underwater symphony. For oceanographers, it's equal parts fascinating and humbling. The discovery that bride's whales likely produce the bio twang is a big win for science, but it also highlights how much we still don't know. Bride's whales, like many marine animals, remain a bit of a mystery. Scientists aren't entirely sure how they behave, how they interact, or why they make certain sounds. If the bio twang really is a form of long distance communication, it could open up new questions about how these whales survive and thrive in the deep blue. 
Studying sounds like the bio twang isn't just about identifying cool noises. It's about unlocking the secrets of an environment that's almost impossible to explore directly. The Mariana Trench, with its extreme pressures and total darkness, is one of the least accessible places on Earth. Hydrophones give us a way to see through sound. Every strange noise is a clue, a piece of the puzzle that might reveal how life adapts to such an unforgiving world. And let's not forget, the bio twang isn't the first or only sound to baffle scientists. There's the bloop, a massive underwater noise that once sparked wild theories about sea monsters. It turned out to be icebergs breaking apart. Then there's the upsweep, a mysterious series of long rising sounds that still hasn't been fully explained. Each of these sounds adds to the allure of the deep sea, reminding us how little we really know about what lies beneath. The ocean is vast, and more than 80% of it remains unexplored. Each discovery, whether it's a strange noise or a glowing jellyfish, changes the way we think about life on Earth. The bio twang, with its bizarre metallic ring and its connection to bride's whales, is a perfect example of how science works. Asking questions, finding partial answers, and uncovering even more mysteries in the process. The Mariana Trench, with its crushing pressures and eerie quiet, is both terrifying and awe-inspiring. Its sounds, those low rumbles, high-pitched squeals, and metallic twangs are like echoes from another world. Listening to them is like eavesdropping on the planet itself. Each sound is a story waiting to be told, a mystery begging to be solved. And that's why the bio twang matters. It's not just a cool sound, it's a symbol of our endless curiosity. It shows that even in the most hostile, unreachable corners of the earth, there's still so much to learn. As long as the deep sea keeps singing, scientists will keep listening, chasing the whispers of the unknown with open ears and open minds. The story of the bio twang doesn't end with identifying bride's whales as the likely source. This is just one layer of the trench's mysteries. The depths of the Mariana Trench hold secrets about the Earth's history, the origins of life, and even clues about how the planet might respond to future changes. Each sound, each discovery, adds to the intricate puzzle of this vast underwater world. From its crushing depths to the surprising resilience of life forms that call it home, the trench challenges what we think we know about survival, adaptation, and communication. Take a moment to consider what else might be hiding there. The deep sea's creatures, many still unknown to science, navigate a world where the laws of physics feel entirely different from those we experience on the surface. Bioluminescent animals light up the dark like living lanterns, while massive pressure-resistant organisms thrive in an environment where human technology can barely function. These creatures, adapted to extremes, might hold the key to innovations in fields ranging from medicine to engineering. The trench's unique environment has inspired decades of exploration, yet much of it is still untouched. Remote operated vehicles, submersibles, and advanced sensors have given us glimpses, but they barely scratch the surface. The immense cost, technical challenges, and unpredictability of the trench make each expedition a monumental effort. Yet, despite these challenges, the quest to understand this underwater world continues, driven by the human desire to explore the unknown. Even as scientists piece together the story of the bio twang, they're uncovering more sounds and phenomena that raise new questions. What if there are other whale species making similarly complex calls that we haven't identified yet? Or what if some sounds are signals of environmental changes happening deep below the surface? The trench's acoustic landscape is a treasure trove of information that could help us understand the health of the oceans, track changes in marine ecosystems, and even predict geological events like undersea earthquakes. The deeper we dive into the trench's mysteries, the more we're reminded of how interconnected everything is. The sounds from the depths aren't just isolated phenomena. They're part of a vast global system. The vibrations and echoes we hear tell stories about tectonic movements, weather patterns, and the lives of creatures we may never see. They remind us that the ocean isn't just a resource or a place for adventure. It's a living, breathing entity that shapes our planet in ways we're only beginning to understand. What other mysteries might the Mariana Trench be hiding? And could they redefine life as we know it? Leave your opinion in the comments. 
Don't forget to like and subscribe for more.